In order for the machine to work in 09 mode, the door to the tamping cab must be closed for safety reasons. The door is monitored by a limit switch which allows the satellites to move. A warning light above the door shows that the satellite is free to move. Before the satellites and the work unit are taken into service, the danger zone of the machine must be continually checked in order to ensure that nobody is present within this area. In order to get the satellite of the machine to work, it is necessary to press once on the touch panel of the button 08 mode on the page Tamping and Aligning Unit. The display then changes into the 09 mode. Only then can the satellite be unlocked on the page Locking Unit on the touch panel by pressing the unlocking button and then the joystick can be operated manually. After the satellite, the tamping units and the turntable can be unlocked. In order to be able to operate the tamping unit sideways, the tamping unit locking must be opened sideways with the corresponding unlocking button. So that the locking mechanisms can also open, both tamping units must be moved slightly inwards. To unlock the tamping units, they must be raised with the button Tamping Unit. Only then can the lock be opened by pressing the Unlocking button. The tamping unit is brought into the working position by briefly pressing the foot switch unit Lower Unit. Note, it is necessary to ensure that the tamping unit is positioned above a sleeper crib in order to avoid damage due to too deep penetration in the permanent way. The turntable provides a larger range of adjustment of the tamping units, for example, in the switch operation or in the case of inclined sleepers. This is also provided with the unlocking button. The turntable can be rotated and shifted to one side with the joystick on the armrest. This allows the tamping units to be adjusted to the track position. In switches, this is done manually by the operator. In order to unlock the lifting lining unit, it must first be lifted with the lift button. The locking mechanism can only be opened by pressing the unlocking button. The lifting and lining unit can be re-railed by operating the additional key with the intermediate switch on the left and right armrest. For this, the key must be pressed slightly to the front. It is also possible to move the lifting and lining unit to the right or left with this intermediate switch. If the lifting and lining unit is correctly re-railed, this is shown on the indicator desk in the tamping cab by two green LEDs. So that lifting and aligning can also be done with the lifting and lining unit, the roller clamps must be pre-selected. Depending on the requirements of the track, various working modes of the roller clamp or also which of the three dishes shall close are preset. The method of operation can be chosen from always closed without pressure, always closed with pressure and open with satellite forward motion.